Chris with HobbyKing.com and today we have the Mini Fabricator powered by Tiny Boy. Now the Tiny Boy was a uh, uh, open source project uh, by Parker Learn and it was designed to put a printer on every student's desk uh, in the classroom. However, there was huge potential uh, uh, for everybody. Even though the printer is smaller in size and uh, is fairly inexpensive, it has huge printing potential. It has an 80 by 80 by 80 cubed print area, which is uh, absolutely just uh, large. As a matter of fact, the majority of things that people print will fit within that envelope. And if it is slightly bigger, you can also just cut it in half or slice it and, and print it in two halves and glue it together. So it's a very usable printer. Now, uh, it's, it's small size also makes it fun. It, it's great for uh, kids, it's great for education, it's great for students, uh, and it's just great for hobbyists as well. Uh, let's go ahead and talk about some of the specs on this, uh, this uh, little printer. First, it has a ramp style board running Marlin uh, software, so it is a bit of future proof. It has a lot of expandability, meaning you can add a lot of features to it. Um, so that board is open source, and as a matter of fact, this whole printer is open source, so there's a lot of DIY and a lot of community driven upgrades and, and uh, things that can be done to this printer to even improve it. Even LED mod kits that can be put in this just to make the acrylic glow on it. It does run or is compatible with the majority of uh, all the popular software out there, Repeater Host, Kira, Slicer, all those are uh, compatible with this printer and there's a really easy to use setup guide that comes with the printer itself. Small piece of filament and you are up and running. Now this printer is small size, it's cute, it fits on the desk, uh, and it's fairly inexpensive. So this is a fantastic opportunity for everybody to get involved in 3D printing, start making uh, parts uh, on CAD, open source software, being able to print them off and actually use them in real life applications. Definitely check this out, it's up on the new items page, and as always, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and also check out the tinyboy.net website for more information on this printer. We'll see you guys next time. So